Hey everyone, uh, it's Brett Gurney here, and we're going to continue something that I started um, previously, a how-to series, how to set up uh, <laughs> a Facebook business page, okay, and um, I think what I will do is we'll go look at that page that we're, that we're going to be setting up. And you will see that right now, uh, it's pretty much a blank page. Just waiting for my slow computer here. Okay, here we go. As you can see, and let me let me um, move this over here. Okay, as you can see, this is pretty much a blank page, and, and I left it this way so that um, we can do this tutorial and you can you can follow along. So the, the next step here would be to add uh, your cover image, which is this right here. This is just like your your regular uh, profile page, your timeline. Your your profile image goes here, and your cover image goes here. Okay, um, the first thing, of course, will be to size the cover image to the correct size. Okay, and I'm going to give you those dimensions. And you know what? I need to get my I need to get my Grampy glasses here because I'm old and I can't see very well. The uh, the dimensions. For the cover page is 815 by 315. Okay, that's 815 by 315. And let me just show you where to go find that kind of information. Okay, so I'm going to, oh wow, I can't reach that. Let me see something here. Okay, there. <laughs> you will see here that um, I'm going to go to Facebook Help Center. By the way, this tool here, RoboForm, if you're a person who goes to a lot of websites, uses a lot of passwords, uses a lot of usernames, has to log in, and has a lot of um, websites that you like to visit frequently and that you like to save, do yourself a favor and get RoboForm. It costs ten bucks a year, and it's the best ten dollars I've ever spent. Okay, um, it's a it's a fantastic and of course a big part of, of running your online business is being organized. Okay, you have to be organized. It'll save you time. It'll help you look for you know what you're what you're looking for. Help you find what you're looking for. Uh, and so, anyways, I'm going to go here to my bookmarks. And I'm going to click on this right here. I saved it a little bit earlier. Facebook Help Center. Okay, and the URL for this is, is uh, www.facebook.com forward slash help. So you might want to write that down. www.facebook.com forward slash help. There's some other uh, places that you can, you can find this. Um, and and course we get to this page and now I'm going to go to oh gosh what was that manage a page policy question I'm going to go to basic information ah here we go okay basic information first and then profile picture and cover photo next Okay, and then we're going to go down here to what are the guidelines for my pages cover photo. Right there. Boom. That's not it. Sorry, I wanted this one here. What are the dimensions of my pages profile picture and cover photo? What are the dimensions? This one up here is for your profile picture. 160 by 160, but we're going to concentrate a little bit more on the cover photo. 
like I said, 851 by 315. And this even gives you a little template down here. If you want to look down here and you will see this one is 8, 851. I said 815. It's 851. Apologize for that. 851 by 315 down. Okay. Those are your dimensions. So that's how you find that. Once again, pages, manage a page, basic information. We back up. You'll see we're on uh, basic information. And back up again to back to the page. Okay. Now. <clears throat> your what we're going to do is we're, we're going to go the, um, the the quick route just to get you started okay after a while when you get you get more um, into this you're going to find that you're going to want to improve your brand um, polish things up make things a little bit more professional and when you do that you might want to consider getting yourself a um, graphic designer you can go to Fiverr.com. That's F-I-V-R.com, and for you know, find somebody that will make you a cover image for your Facebook page. Um, you'll see a lot of those there. Just go to Fiverr.com. That's a really, really great website. And let's see, let's move that. That's a really great, great website. And and so, but for right now, I'm just going to show you a way to just get started because the thing is that I see so many people try to have everything so perfect before they get started that they never get started okay uh, and yeah you know you you could figure out you know your exact um, image that you want and, and and everything in great perfect detail you know and go find yourself a graphic designer you know and, and meanwhile you're not online you're not um, driving traffic to your website you're you're not making things happen so we're just going to get you started okay so i have some images and what you're going to want to do is find an image that you think that you would like to go up here in your um, cover picture okay it may not be the perfect size i'm going to show you how to resize a picture okay i'm going to show you how to take any picture that you like and resize it to fit this. So again, I'm going to go to my bookmarks. I'm going to go down here to my photo edit and I'm going to click on this right here that says picture resize. Okay. The URL for this website is resizemypicture.com. That's www.resizemypicture.com. This is a very, very simple process. You will see this right here. Choose your file. Okay, we're going to browse my computer. We're going to click on that and um, I'm going to go to my pictures right there. Pictures, boom. I'm going to go to a carrot bars folder that I have. And I'm going to scroll down here and I'm going to find a picture that we can play with. Uh, let's see. Let me find one that, you know what? Let me go to this other one. Okay. I'm going to, let's see, the dimensions for this is 600 by 375. So we will definitely have to change the dimensions on this. And, and, and let me just state right now that be, keep in mind that when you stretch a picture, you're going to lose some of the clarity. So you want to try to find an image that's already rectangular in shape that may already be close to the dimensions that you want because the less changes that you make on it, of course, will uh, change the clarity and the focus of it that much less. So we're just going to try this. And there's been times that I've had, I've tried one and had to, you know, just didn't look good. So I had to go find another image. But I'm going to grab this one right here. I'm going to click on that. Um, and that puts the file in here. And then here's some standard pixels wide that they give you. But remember, we have to have a certain dimension. We have to have 851. I better change this. 
we have to have 851 by 315, right? 851 by 315. So I'm going to click on this little thing right here that says more options. Right there, boom, more options. And then I'm going to choose specify your own height and width. Right there, okay? And in here, in the width, I'm going to put 851. And in the height, I'm going to put 315. And then I'm going to click right here to resize. Okay, there, finally. Okay, so there's the image. And it, and it didn't get real blurry. Okay, it looks pretty good. So I, I like that. I, I think I, I might want to use that for my cover photo. It's 851 by 315. So I think I'm going to save this so that I can add it, so that we can add it to the um, business page that we're building. So I'm just going to right-click on this, and I'm going to choose Save Image As. And then I'm going to... Take, put it in the, um, and, and let me expand this out for you a little bit. So in case you're not familiar with doing this, you've got your, your um, all your folders here. Okay, and I'm going to go down here and I'm going to click on pictures. And then let me move this back over. And I'm going to choose the folder that I want to put it in, which is this one right here. Carrot bar is 5, so I can remember that it's not overloaded and I'm gonna click on save and that's gonna save my picture okay so that when I want to go back and get it I'll click on my my documents and let's see and I'll show you this here um, I'm gonna to go to documents show you my files again right there under Brett Gurney documents and then um, then I'm going to choose down here I'm going to go down here to pictures there's pictures right there it's already open I'll go like that and then move this back over it's in this one remember I said carrot bars 5 double click on that and it is it's right here okay and notice when I point to this now see here here was the original one up here notice when I point to this the dimensions are 600 by 375 I hope you can see that okay and then the one that I just added that we resize is down here and you point to that and you've got your 851 by 315 okay so that is how you resize a picture. We've got it saved now. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to add text to a picture. Like if you wanted to put right, put something on there, you know, a URL or whatever, you definitely want to um, check with uh, Facebook's policies and see what's allowed. They do have um, policies for cover pictures. We'll, we'll look at that. But I will show you how to add text to any image and then I will show you how to add this image to your Facebook uh, business page a lot of you probably already know that so that will be on the next video I want to thank everybody for um, tuning in today and um, we will see you on the next video okay if you, you by the way by the time we get done with this there's going to be a whole set of videos that um, you will be able to go to YouTube and hit play uh, playlist and, and get the whole set or um, you will be able to download the set there there will be different sets of how to videos um, for example this one you know how to uh, add, um, create a Facebook business page and then after that we'll do blogging and things like that so once again thanks and we will catch you all on the next video okay see ya